So that method would be called the central difference scheme. So if I just take the two values and divide it by two, that's that's a central difference um, difference scheme. And that's a pretty accurate scheme. That's actually a second order accurate scheme. Like so, even if the um, you know basically it'll be correct even if there's a parabolic you know distribution of you know phi between c and a um, and it'll just miss anything third order or higher so that's a second order accurate scheme and that's a pretty good one but it turns out that scheme is often unstable um, for solvers so um, generally what people will do is like they might try out a central difference scheme to see if the solution can be obtained that way because if it can you'll get a stable uh, a very accurate solution even with a fairly coarse mesh but um, that actually often turns out to be unstable um, and it has to and the reason why it's unstable has to do with the flow um, so actually you know what's going on at this interface because this is a flow problem um, tends to have to you know it, it tends to be that like this element actually affects the value over here more than the one over here um, because of the convection and so um, it turns out that a more stable way to do this although like definitely less accurate is to actually just use the value of the centroid over. So like for example if the flow is going in this direction why don't we just use this value and say that the value over here is probably pretty close to this value. So um, that's actually a pretty common scheme um, and but that actually only works if the velocity is pointed in that direction. So let's say if the velocity is pointed in that direction on the face we'll use that value and if it's pointed in the other direction we'll use the adjacent values. That scheme is called upwinding. It's not accurate, but it's um, like it, it doesn't really do any sort of interpolation. It really just says that the value at the interface is heavily biased towards you know the direction of the wind. Um, so that's called upwinding, and it's typically much more stable, um, but fairly inaccurate. So you need a, a much finer grid in order to actually resolve what's going on. So that's stable but inaccurate. So a whole variety of hybrid schemes have also been developed to like try and figure out what goes on in between those two. You know, you can think about these as sort of two extremes of what of what happens. So there are other hybrid schemes that try to actually think about like what the solution to a, you know, the exact solution to a convection diffusion problem are in between and like come up with an interpolation scheme that way. I won't go into all those. There's like one called exponential that is based on the exact solution to like a, a one-dimensional um, convection diffusion problem. Um, it tends to be more expensive to use but one of these two schemes or something close to it is often used um, in different types of software depending on whether you know you have an unstable problem or you're finding that you have like if you have an un, if you find that your your solver is unstable then typically switching um, to upwinding will solve that problem but sometimes if you're smart about it you can choose a hybrid scheme that gets you a little bit of both um, and I won't go into like some of the other choices of interpolation here <laughs>